Let me help you out of your chair, Grandma! Grandma! Hey, what up? This is J Music. Hey, man, it's Randall from Clerks. And you're watching Rubber City Wrestling. Real pro wrestling, not that flippy stuff. Rubber City. Isn't that what they call James Franco's bedroom? Guy orders condoms by the pallet. Snoogans. One cameraman positioned in the ring. For an up close and personal view. Studio Wrestling is back. RCW Rubber City Wrestling presents to you RCW Global. Rubber City Wrestling, real professional wrestling, not that flippy stuff. Hello, welcome to another edition of RCW Global. I am your role model, Rick Lee, with me, Ricky Williams. And right now we have ourselves a match between your boy, the Hawaiian Hammerhead, and of course, uh, AJ. New, newcomer AJ and um, definitely interesting never seen AJ before ready to see how he does in his yeah. debut here against the uh, you know Hawaiian Lion the great Draven Post now he's got a oh, and it was that the scrape in the eyes I saw no, I don't think he scraped his eyes I think he bumped his head and I think he was being nice because he didn't want to hurt him so he walked away sure but anyway, now both men now in a tussle. Him. Well, he's got him in a reverse waist lock right now. Yes, he does. Rear waist lock, and uh, he's got it on pretty tight. Uh, Draven fighting off. Nice and down job, goes AJ. actually, by Draven. I'm shocked. And now AJ now AJ. was a giddy Oh, goodness. Oh, that's awesome. Hold wow. On. Pin him. Down goes Draven. What is Pin he him. doing? Grab a sauce. I'm uh oh. Run. And this is a rookie oh, mistake. No. Oh, model. gosh. Remember don't do name. that. Hey, you just giddy. Teed him. You don't do that wow. until after you win the match. I mean, I get you talking it's trash, but now it no, looks like it's been one, built too much time. Two, yeah, you gave him plenty of time to recover after that. And that was only a two Oh, count. very much rookie mistake. Very much rookie mistake. I think it would have been three if uh, he didn't, was talking on the camera. And look, at the, look at the outfit he's got on. It's kind of neat looking. I'll be I'm real, not a big it is, fan. yeah. Not a big fan of shirts in the ring. Matter of fact, I hate it, but I get that it goes now, with the gear. And now, he missed, and a spear! A spear by... Draven wow! Post, and and then, an RKO to the leg, it looked like? It look, no, he's, that, no, he's trying to hyperextend the knee by right. doing that, and it's actually... It, it, it was actually kind of cool. I, I just, that's what it looked like to me. But anyway, it looks like he's about to go. It looks like he's, he's holding it in there. Four. He's got a new move here he's trying. Yeah, It's exactly. kind of a standing inverted figure four leg lock. Right. He doesn't lock the leg over top of it. I don't know, man. Right. AJ's in it, a lot of trouble him. right now. It's hurting him. He's trying to reach for the ropes, but he can't reach for the ropes. It well, looks like Draven's pulling him back a bit. Draven also. Yeah, it looks it. like he gave up. He gave up, but it was also an inexperienced mistake. He should have went for a pin cover right when he had the guy down. But anyway, that was it. Your winner, Draven Post. We're going to go ahead and take our first commercial break, and then we'll be right back. Do you enjoy indie flicks and B-movies? Maybe have a script in mind and want to be showcased? Well, the same company that gave you Footsteps and Night Z, Guru Films, is looking for more ideas. Contact us at thegurufilms1 at gmail.com or through the Guru Films Facebook page. So be sure to follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash guru films dot 420 to purchase dvds and for updates on new films coming soon would you like to see your commercial aired on both rcw spotlight and rcw global Contact us on social media at facebook.com slash Rubber City Wrestling, Instagram at Rubber City Wrestling, or email us at the RCW Network at gmail.com.
So it's been a few months. I've had time to contemplate what Mike Smiley's going to do after being screwed out of the RCW Tag Team Championships. Now, I'd say I could go back after them, but my partner's retired now. Thanks, Rick Lieb. We were supposed, well, he was supposed to retire as Tag Team Champion. So, I've taken these last few months to think long and hard on what I'm doing. And... I'm thinking about myself, where I'm going. It's going to be about me. I got scores to settle. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get a match with you, Rick Lieb. Harley Morris, May 25th, Akron Turner Club, you are my sacrificial lamb. I'm sorry, Rick ducked me once again and wants to go play with the Misfits. So you are enemy number one to getting my revenge back for being screwed out of the RCW Tag Team Championships. Sorry about your luck. Hawaiian Lions, Misfits, yes, you owe Rick Lee, but thank you for being Tag Team Champions. I am officially out on my own. I am no longer affiliated with nobody. Team Beast, no more. It's about what's going to get me what I want. And that's checking off the box of all the wrongs done to me and getting some RCW singles gold. So cheer me, boo me, I don't care. Come May 25th, I start my mission. Have a nice day. Welcome back to RCW Global. Now we have Colt Frost versus Dice K. This should be a pretty good match. Um, let me just reiterate on some two things. Number one, yes, the Hawaiian Lions do owe me a thank you. But no, I had no, no uh, say in ducking Mike Smiley. I would have definitely taken a match with Mike Smiley over some freaking barroom yardard. Yard tart up, and and uh, that the fact that Mike Smiley thinks that I would duck him after years of beating him up is is comical to me. But you know it is what it is. I actually like this new attitude with Mike Smiley, and I'm glad to see he's out of Team Beast because you know what, uh, he he didn't belong in there. I mean, what he got hooked on there when he when he won the tag belts, and then it, and the second they lost, they're no longer with them. That's weird. But anyway, right now, Dice K taking complete advantage over Colt Frost. Yeah, so Colt Frost is right now in a lot of trouble right now. Dice K taking good advantage. There's a pin and a crazy kick out by Colt Frost. Good right job. Now. No, he bridged out. I know. I thought you said it was smart. Pretty crazy. Which was, was which that, that's an amateur move. Yes, yes, it is. You get out of the pin, you bridge up on your head. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, Star Wars from Mike Smiley. Uh, I guess he said he's on his own. He's ready to, you know, start on his journey by himself and see how he does in the future i guess maybe he should talk to his old pal uh scotty stevens i mean i know he's looking for a tag team partner and now wow what a move by dice k and a russian or a bulldog sorry and now I, oh wow you saw that was, your move right well, there. that looked sort of like the land elbow it drop did. only it was a sliding drop and it was pretty cool looking it was kind of neat it was fast it was too. like it was like a, it was like it, it it was kind of a corkscrew but he kind of slid into it it was pretty it, pretty quick it was like a a snapping corkscrew elbow drop and uh right now he's keeping and he's just this he is, he's destroying cold frost right cold frost of course another young re wrestler in the uh, business he's wrestled a few matches here with rubber city wrestling dice k more of a veteran as opposed to him dice is still new too i mean he's only been in a few years but his experience is already head over heels higher than uh what colt frost has and it shows as he just keeps on the man right now, and now I, I i i will say i'm never ever ever um a, a fan of you know the guys wearing the shirts like i said before but as you see that's kind of one that goes with his outfit again 
I don't know. So, I mean, don't, don't you think that's a kind of a yard? Well, no, 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 because it, 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 it's at least it's spandex. But it's still a shirt. Well, it's spandex, though. Yeah, it's still you know. covering the now, body I, model. Listen, I mean, uh, honestly, I, I, I would prefer if you didn't have one on. You know how I am with the freaking, you know, with the way and everything. And, and we, we feel that it, traditional styles should definitely be there. But, uh, you know, maybe it's maybe he's got like a reason like, I don't know what the heck that was. He went to go do something and Colt Frost kind of reversed out of it, which apparently when you're slow on a setup, you're not going to get the move on, even if it's to a younger guy. But here we go. He's got right. Looks like Dice back King. to the that hammer was, lock right there. Yep. Smart moves by Dice and then King. Wow. A what a move by Dice King. Knocking down Colt Frost. Actually, that was smart. Right. He did a double leg takedown from and the back, the rear double leg, and now he's got him on top. Kind of like a Steiner recliner type move right now. It's definitely a vicious submission right now on Colt Frost. Does he give up here? Well, what do you think? I think the kid is still too young and dumb to realize. And wow, kind of ring awareness. No, nah, I wouldn't call it ring awareness so much as I saw the rope and I crawled to him. I mean, hey, yes, but still, smart <laughs> move by Colt Frost. Hey, I'm just saying. Nice Good. little elbow to the back of the uh, and now back of the neck elbow, right there. Yeah. Actually, he's getting him right up on the trap. And that can that can cause like a Charlie horse in the trap and also weaken down the muscles. It's a smart move. Obviously, he learned that in the dojo because uh, you know yeah, with his martial arts background. Uh, and here, here he goes. goes Dice K. This ain't good for Colt Frost, and he misses. And now Colt Frost. This is why I, I mean again a vicious clothesline. And down goes Dice K. Again, this is why I don't like the, uh... And another one! Sorry, role model, this is getting no, no, wild. No, no, I got you, I got you. Um, it, it's like he did the fancy little flips and stuff, and I get and, it. Ooh, a, a vicious drop kick! I wouldn't to go Dice too far King. as to say it's vicious, but it was a beautifully done It drop was kick. a beautiful drop kick. And, oh, oh a kick to the head! See his foot bounce off his head. That's... Oh, my goodness, there goes a pin. One, two... And I'm ring surprised. Ring awareness. Hey, yep, there you go. Uh, that's, that's ring awareness, awareness right yep, there. Yes. I'll give Dice K credit. Man, I'm surprised he was able to get out of that. I, 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 I do think I'm Cole not, Frost should have pulled him away, though. Nice, nice suplex, suplex by Cole Frost. Now, um, right now, while his guy is down, he needs to definitely get on top of him and start taking advantage of him. Uh, here it he goes. He's going and for oh, no. Boston Crab. The Boston Crab. This is not good for He's, Dice K. He doesn't have it on. He keeps slipping. Oh, I know he is, he but now it. now it looks like he has a full on. Is, see, here's the thing where he needs to, to, you know, to separate amateur from professional. He did the amateur like uh, or amateur move earlier, which I liked, but there he needed to do. He needed to hook his hands. In yeah, amateur wrestling, no. you're not allowed to hook your hands. But here he could have hooked his hands when he had the grab on, and then it would have been almost impossible for Dice K to crawl out of it. And that's how Dice K did crawl out of it. Now he's and taking advantage kicks. of it. Dice K has beautiful kicks, man. Yes, he does. And I, I, and I got vicious punch to the gut. Dice K and Spike, they, they uh, invited me to the dojo to watch them work, and and I'll tell you right now, I got to watch them, you know, just kicking things and breaking things, and these guys are just fantastic the way they work together and, and at that dojo and stuff and honestly you know i'm surprised that their tag team hasn't been given more shots but with, with spike being the real world's light heavyweight champion you I'm know say that but all right what you won't say what he's a real heavyweight champion and there's a vicious drop kick right to the side of the rib cage yes too. oh goodness now and now, now colt definitely feeling that one this one right here could that that could finish it right now yeah. But he wants to taunt him, and I would have pinned him right here. And what is up with these wrestlers taunting him? Well, well, this is not a good sometimes, thing. Sometimes, you know, they, they, they get carried away with their emotions. And that's something that you're going to see from younger wrestlers. Is that and, really, oh, wow! Oh, yeah, but Kick only, to the back of the head, and down no, goes he, Colt! He only grazed him. One, I don't think he's got two, him and three! He did get him good enough. Jeez, wow! That was so fast, it looked like he only grazed him. And your winner, the Iron Tiger, Dice K. All right, good job, Dice K. Uh, yeah, the camera angle was bad. It looked like he just barely grazed him, but what we didn't see was where the leg was when it hit from behind. And look at this. This is disrespectful right here, Role Model. What is wrong? Why is he no, doing this? No, what happened was and he had thank to... goodness someone came in to actually stop him. What the heck? 
I thought these two stopped being partners. I don't know, but hey, good save Here's the right thing, there. man, with these guys. All right, they're 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 frat boys together, right? Right. And it's like, from what I from if I get my background understanding, these two dudes fight all the time, but then they make up, and I don't understand that. It's like, yeah, wow. I well, mean, then again, I you crazy. know, even with my friends, we fought all the time, and then we made up, and then we fought all the time, and then we made up. It's just one of those things, I guess. Anyway, your winner is Dice K regardless. We're going to go ahead and take another commercial break. And then when we come back, we're going to have your main event. TNT Health, unmasking your potential. So, you want to look like the headline Vinny DiMazzo? Here's your chance. Let's not be ridiculous. Nobody can look like Vinny. But if you need that energy before your workout, or you want to lose some weight, burn some fat, we got that. You want to build some lean muscle? You can get it at TNT. Or even if you just need the essentials, BCAAs, juiced up, we're here at TNT Health, we carry it all. Come visit us at TNTHealth.com. Welcome back to RCW Global. Right now, it's our main event of the evening. Donovan Alexander Kozar, Dak, as he likes to be called, versus the American Strong Style, John, John Rossiter. That's right, buddy. Now, Newest member of the way. Walmart, I gotta bring up something. So, what do you think about Rossiter, by the way? Very good wrestler. I mean, I, I can't stand him, but he's like a. What do you mean? You don't even know him. I can't stand yeah, him. Yeah, whatever. But anyway. How is your PWW show going on here? You know. Oh, the PWW reunion that yeah. was last week. Yeah. Yeah. You're asking me how it was. I should be asking you what you thought of it. Well, I thought it was great. I thought you guys did amazing. I want to know how we, how you thought. I mean, how was your experience with it again? I mean, know? it was first time seeing these guys in 20 years, and John looked freaking phenomenal. Oh my goodness. Oh, Bo looked like a skeleton with skin on it, but John, man, he looked like a freaking. <laughs> Like, he, he never stopped working. Like, that dude there just gets bigger. He's 53 years old, and he looks like he's in better shape now than he was when he wrestled. Now, of course, one of the questions was asked, you know, what what, what would I, uh, you know, if John would ever come out of retirement and wrestle me. Oh, and I thought that was kind of funny because even though he's in phenomenal, you know, bodybuilder shape, he's not in wrestling shape. You know, and there is a difference. Wrestling shape you gotta be just I mean wrestling shape you gotta be your cardio has to be there you gotta be able to get down not come up get down you know I mean it's just it is a whole different animal and Look wait, at that hold on I'm attack. starting to fear but Donovan just attacked John Rossiter out of yeah, nowhere exactly like what oh a my dirty goodness. wrestler and now he goes a pin already and well couldn't even get the pin he had to get the bell ready but holy moly Already a good start by uh, Donovan. Did you say Wooly Moly? I said Holy Moly. No, you said Wooly Moly. No, I said Holy Moly. Oh, oh my goodness! There you go. Took his head off. That was beautiful. Oh, well, there's a pin we're like, one, too. We're out there like, don't pin him yet. So he picked him up. <laughs> Man, uh, That could have been so quick and easy for him. He would get, could have had an easy night. But come and, on, earn that paycheck. Yeah, Beat vicious that guy punches up. by Rossiter. Open hand, though. Did you notice that? Oh, man, yes. But, you know, I like to call him the Dollar Tree Walmart. I mean, not Dollar Tree Walmart. I'm sorry. Dollar Tree Animal. Why would you call him that? Uh, because he is. No, I mean, not. There's Animal right there. Okay, but still, he just wants to look. He looks like a wannabe animal. I'm sorry. This guy is Jack, though. I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, right. Well, not looking good for Donovan so far. And, oh, goodness. You know, and... Honestly, I don't even know why. I mean, he's wearing a singlet, as you see. I don't know why he wears a singlet. If I had that build, I wouldn't. I, I'd walk around the streets in my neighborhood in my underwear. I don't care. I thought, I thought you were against singlets, Romano. No, I'm not against singlets. I'm a, I'm against people wearing t-shirts in the ring and jeans on their freaking, 
you know, jeans to the ring. He's got uh, MMA shorts. He's got a singlet on. You know, he's wearing professional gear. He's fine. Now, yeah. I, I do like Dak's outfit, though. I'll give him credit on that. Those those uh, tights are pretty cool looking. And it looked like Rossiter didn't lock up that uh, movie. Was I don't there. think he cared to. Rossiter's had one thing and one thing only to do, and that was insert pain on a kid who ran his mouth way too much. And uh, there was a lot of back and forth going on. I'll give credit for this right here. He showed a lot of fight. You know, is right and, now. and I don't know if you know what Donovan was doing. He was hitting with the palms of his hand, like the lower part. That's actually something he learned in the military. And oh goodness, a splash to Rossiter. I don't know, I don't know. Not looking good for Rossiter. No, it's not looking good for Rossiter. But as you see, I'm standing out there right now, and uh, I, I'll be making sure that I give him very good advice as and, well oh, Angle, as goodness, well cannonball. Harley T. Morris who's going to beat the crap out of Mike Smiley yeah, on May 25th. There's a pin too and a kick out. Nice. Wow. He ain't going to pin him. I'm surprised Dak got him in there. Dak put on weight for this. I'll give him credit for that. I didn't expect him to come in here looking like a heavyweight but he did. Yeah, so now he actually took it serious. I thought all he was is a keyboard tough right. guy. And now he looks like he's about to go to that. It's a high risk move right now, but no. Yeah, you take too long with John Rossiter and you're going to get it. Now Rossiter now. Here he goes. Uh oh. Now he's setting up right uh -oh. now. Could this be a perplex that looks. Oh, no, he pushed him off. Yeah, he pushed him off right there. And now and Donovan. So. It's going to fly! And it misses! <laughs> oh, that is great. I have to admit that's funny. Now, what I'm have sorry. I said over and over again about these stupid uh, flippy high spots and stuff like that? Somebody's going to come jumping off of me, diving onto me, doing any of that stupid stuff on me. I'm moving out of the way. And right now he's doing a... This is real professional wrestling. Some kind of ankle, ankle lock, lock on, on him right now. He's this got a real good. ankle lock on him. He, yeah, Donovan's quitting. He yeah, just quit he, right he there. just quit. Wow. Yeah. And your winner, the American strong style, John Rossiter. He, was, he won't give up. He won't stop. No, no, no. Well, uh... If he's you, about if, to break his leg off. Or foot off, actually. Sorry. Yeah. That's all right. We don't need it. He don't need it anyway. Yes, he does. Right? Obviously, he doesn't have much on, of a like, wrestling get career. Off of him. You know, uh, I think this is a beautiful thing. No, it's this not. is called sending this punk kid who did nothing but talk and talk and he, talk he, uh, a message. He is about to snap his ankle off. My goodness. I don't think he's ever going to walk again. Animal had to get him to break the hold. He's like... And now look and at, no, look it was at Danny Angle, Angle out of nowhere. Why is he got to stick his nose And that was the kendo stick. Business. Going Why up Why is he got to stick his nose in people's business? There's Animal behind him, though. Yeah, Animal's getting out of there, too. Animal's not a wrestler anymore. He's a manager now. If Animal put his hands on him, then they would, then Animal would get his his uh, manager license revoked. I mean, glad Danny Angler came to save him, but uh, a little too late. Damage's I mean, been done. Yeah, he'd already had the move broken up. Yeah, oh. Danny going to go in there after everybody's already done with their business. Oh, that's goodness. Just like, that's just like Danny England to do that. I feel bad for Donovan right now. Hopefully he heals up quick uh, after who, that ankle. Why would you feel bad for Donovan? Feel bad for Rossiter to have to face Donovan in his no, debut. No, whatever. He doesn't even break a sweat. Again, want to be animal. Anyway, go ahead. Anyway is right. Well, for Ricky Williams, I am your role model, Rick Leeds, saying join us again next week for another edition of RCW Global. Salute. Peace.